In the three, two, one, go ahead. Not long ago in India, a cry was heard. The famous Sergeant Major was on another one of his cases. It turns out it's the same four-year-old kid who likes to see the Sergeant Major's mustache. So the detective's day was off. The next day was the first day of the week of Thanksgiving break. So he booked a flight to London and was off. His flight landed the Sergeant Major's plane was parked next to a cola factory. From a glance at the entrance, the factory was a cat, or was an increasing puddle of red liquid. He knew he had to investigate, investigate but was a bit mad because he was on his vacation. So after the surgeon major was off, so out of the airport, he scurried over to the doorway of the factory filled with fear. And he cursed under his breath because he was on vacation doing his job. When he came to the factory, it was a monkey's paw with a dead monkey beside it. Looking upon monkey, he saw a guy with bloody hands and a knife. The murderer turned his head and face Sergeant Major, and to his surprise, it was Mr. White, his college classmate. To Mr. White's despair, he knew it would be the last of his crimes, and he said, I wish I would have made the right decision when I was younger. And then Mr. White was off in the police car, and Sergeant Major was finally off to the beautiful British sunset. <laughs> Um, cursed explorers. Far in India, there were resting and exploring two friends, who were Mr. White and the Surgeon Major. They loved exploring in different countries, and this year they were in India. They have already looked at two different places, and now they're going to be going to the temple, which was first a shoe fa factory, but then it was not used anymore, and with years it became looking like a temple, looking temple-like. But there was a legend about it that a monster came there, took it over from the people, and with its magic made it a temple for himself. And that's why Mr. White and Sergeant Mayor went over there to explore it. When they came to the temple, they found themselves in the front of the round room with millions of doors. And Mr. White said, if I could only find the creepiness, and right at the moment, the floor opened, and before they even knew it, they were downstairs running away from some kind of monster down the hall. As they kept running and screaming in fear, they felt sand under their legs. And then the door they didn't see uh, closed right in front of the monster after them. And they were in a room full of sand. And then they saw something glittery, and they dug it up and saw that it was a monkey's paw. And then, for a second, they were sitting in the dark, and then they fell asleep. When they woke up, they were back in London, and on their hands, they found writings that you are cursed. And they were very scared, and in despair, they were full of fear and wish of it being the nightmare, their nightmare or a silly joke. Yay!